Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and this is a special video uh, just for uh, Crow Mother's four year old daughter who apparently likes looking at my monkeys so, um, so I've decided to do a bit of a tour I'll probably have to do this in two parts in case the uh, memory um, sort of gets filled up and I don't get to finish so here's an overlook of all the smaller specimens so over here we have uh, this is the marmosette okay um, here we have two these are both the same species one's deformed and the other one is as it should be so this one is the squirrel monkey whoops too close so uh, there we go and like I say, that one's deformed. Next we have a bush baby. The jewels have been uh, set with super glue because I don't like having to keep dusting them and then and then having to having to separate them. So I've had them all glued either open or shut. This is the mongoose lemur. Okay. Uh, next we have. A juvenile vervet monkey featured in a recent video when I was showing off all the uh, juveniles. Now we have a juvenile crab eating macaque. Okay, so there we go. They're sometimes called um, Java macaques, I believe. This one is the white faced. Uh, capuchin it's a female okay that was also featured recently over here we have a juvenile chimpanzee I previously previously mentioned in previous videos um, that this is a hundred plus years old um, and it was sold to me several years ago perhaps about 15 to 20 years ago when I didn't have many skulls this one is a Hanuman Langer temple monkey. It's the only plastic one in this section of the uh, collection. I bought it because it looks angry and that is why I wanted that particular species. This one is a juvenile baboon. I don't know what species it is. Um, no one seems to have to tell me and I can't tell myself even looking on eBay, uh, sorry, on um, the internet. This one is a Grivet monkey or green monkey. Okay, that was also featured in a recent video. This one is my collared mangabe. Okay, nice big front teeth there. This one is one of my favourites. This is my rhesus macaque. Okay. And finally in this section is my Barbary macaque, which was sold to me some years ago. Even though it's not in a very clean um, condition, I still like it for the comparison because these are both macaques. There are a couple of others in the collection, but I always keep those together. So what I'm going to do now is pause this and perhaps show off the uh, great apes. Okay, so this is my great apes. Now these are all plastic. I didn't want to get them out like the others because of all these uh, delicate model fungi. So we have the uh, male lowland gorilla. Uh, we have here... This is my male orangutan. Hiding under there is a male mandrill baboon. Next is Cedric. He's the male gelada baboon. And finally, this is a human skull. They're all plastic. Now this one is a, a roughly speaking, a 30 year old Asian lady. Asian as in uh, Indian, Pakistani, that sort of Asia, as, a, as opposed to the Far East. Now, 
these are all plastic uh, because I didn't want the real ones for ethical reasons or because they're too expensive so uh, it's a bit dusty on this shelf because I don't dust too often in case I break something now the final three skulls these are special to me because I found these while out walking there's a cat a crow and a rabbit and what I plan to do with these three is make separate videos because they all have a small story behind them so what I'm going to do for now is stop this video and uh, upload it and then make a separate video for uh, for these anyway thank you for watching bye